In this video, we're going to look at how you add pictures to a project in Family Historian. You can do that using the media window or using the media tab of the property box. We're going to look at how you do it using the media window. And when you add a picture in Family Historian, you can link each person in the picture to their face. And we're going to look at how you do that too. So the first thing to do is click on the Add menu, then click on Pictures. Find the, the uh, pictures you want to add, select them all, click Open. Uh, now you can choose to copy the picture files into the Family Historian project if you wish to. And we're going to do that. We're going to take this option, copy the files to the default location within the project folder. If in doubt, it's a good idea to copy the, uh, the picture files in. So we'll click Add. And now we're looking at the new pictures that we've just added. There's a list of them down the side and thumbnail images on the right. Double click on one of the thumbnails to view that picture in close up. If you know the date a picture was taken, it's a good idea to add it. We'll see why in a moment. You can also add keywords for each picture. This tab shows you the links from the picture to the people. Uh, in the picture. At the moment we've added the picture to the Family Story project but we haven't linked it to any of the people. There are two kinds of links. You can add a frame link or a simple link. You can use these buttons to add these links. A frame link is a link normally to the person's face though it doesn't have to be to their face. We're not going to use these buttons. We're going to use the media link tool because uh, that's actually more convenient especially if you're going to be adding a lot of links. It's much quicker. So to enable the Media Link tool, click on this button on the toolbar, and the Media Link tool appears um, as an extra tab on the left-hand side. Now, the main person here is Edward Wiley, so I'm going to filter this list to find him quickly. There he is, Edward Wiley. And all I have to do is click and drag on his name in the list, drag onto the picture, and when I release the, the button, it, it asks me if I want to add a frame link or a simple link. I'm going to say a frame link. That's, if you remember, the, the face link. And I can then click and drag to draw a stretchy box around the person's face. And as you can see, I can adjust it by um, uh, either clicking within the box itself or clicking on these little white uh, corner boxes until I've got it the way I want it. When I selected Edward Wiley in the top part of the list, in the bottom part of the list, uh, very conveniently, it shows me uh, close relatives of Edward Wiley. Uh, and his wife is Anna Cole. She's over here, so I can click and drag uh, on her name to add a link to her. Uh, that's Edward's son, John. And that's his daughter, Caroline. Now, if we look up here, we can see there are now four links from the picture to records within the project. So if I want to know which one of them is uh, Caroline Wiley, if I just click on her name there, it'll uh, put a frame around her face in the picture. Conversely, as I move my mouse over the picture, you can see these little dotted boxes. And if I click on this person, it'll select them up there so that I can see that's John Wiley. Or I could um, double click on his face to open the property box. And uh, as you'd expect, if I look under the media tab for uh, John Wiley, there's that close-up picture of him. And I can toggle between viewing the uh, full picture and uh, a close-up on him. And you see that caption where it says uh, 2003 age 8? Well, it knows he's aged 8 because uh, it's calculated that from his date of birth combined with uh, the date the picture was taken. If I click up here, I can go back to the thumbnail view and uh, very quickly add links to these other people. This person is Anna Munro. There she is. And finally Carolyn Munro. And 
And that's it. And now Family Historian will reuse these faces uh, elsewhere in the program. For example, already you can see, if we look at uh, Edward and his family there, those faces are automatically being used. Or, or I could select Anna Cole and open a Ancestors and Descendant diagram, say any, uh, any diagram, and instantly you can see these faces are being used, and they'll also be used in reports and elsewhere.